Okay. I'm ready when you are, dear. Okay. Um, this is Sadie. We got her in December 2006 from the pound. Um, when they found her, they found like over 30 dogs where they took her from. They were running a puppy mill, which is where they just breed dogs like continuously. Um, she was she had four sisters and like three brothers. And when we got her, she was the run. She was like six weeks old. And the vet there didn't even know if she was going to live because she was really, really sick. But, and like for the first week that we brought her home, she wouldn't eat and stuff, so we had to hand feed her. But as you can see, she made it, so she's my little buddy. And if I need someone to talk to, she's there. <laughs> Um, I decided to do PowerPoint just because it was different from what everybody else did, and I like to do that kind of stuff. So, um, up on the top, I have pictures of me from when I was little. <coughs> and when I was littler, I used to be obsessed with Barney. Like, I'd watch it all the time, and for Halloween, for like four years, I dressed up as Barney characters. And then down here, this is in Alabama on the way last week during spring break. And then the picture in the middle is of me and Kerrigan that was at our farm clinic. And the one on the very end is of me and Darren. Um, my family is really important to me. My parents divorced when I was like Three, so I don't even really remember having both parents in like the same house. And so from as long as I can remember, it's always just been my mom and my sisters. And my sister's always there if I need them, even though we fight like all the time. And my mom, if I need someone to talk to, she's always there for me. Um, this is my dad's part of the family. When I was like six, he married Terry, she's my stepmom. Um, we get along pretty good. We haven't really fought that much. And I think of her as family. And then when I was about six, it was before they got married, they had Caleb. He's my half brother and we're usually really close except when he's annoying me. Like I said before, my sisters are really important to me. We get along sometimes, and when we do, we're really close. And I'm the one who's the farthest apart in years. The, the Sam and Ashley are closer in age, but we still hang out and do stuff. And then this is more of my extended family. This is me and my cousin Kelsey. We're about eight months apart, so we were really close. But then. Like a year or two ago, they moved to Texas, so that was kind of hard because me and her used to hang out all the time. She used to come to Shepherd. And then this is me and my cousin Allie. We went to Alabama with them and kind of got annoying after the first couple days because we went with their family. We were all over them. Um, that's my Aunt Debbie. Some of you might know her. She works up in the office sometimes. Um, She's the aunt that I'm most close with because my other one lives up in Tiger City. So if I need her help, she helps me. And then over there is when I was littler and I had my birthday party. I'm really close with all my cousins. Um, Kyle still goes here, he's senior. And then um, my cousin Jake goes to Beale. I don't know if any of you guys know him. And these are my two babies. They're both my cousins. Um, this is Darian Star. I watched her since she was like six weeks old, like at least once a week. So I got really attached to her, but she also moved down to Texas, so that was really hard. And then um, Riley's my other cousin, and we've become really close, and I hang out with her all the time and watch her. So. These pets right here, I'm really close to my pets, I have a lot. These are all the pets that I still have. And these are all the ones that I can fit on the page. Oh. 
I have a lot of cats. I'm a cat person. Um, most of them are outside. I usually only have one inside the house at my mom's and one inside the house at my dad's. But I have a lot of outside cats. And as you can see, I like to dress them up sometimes. <laughs> so I put them in sweatshirts and dresses and yeah. <laughs> Friends are really important to me too because if I need to talk to them, they're there for me and there's someone to hang out with and we always have fun. I have a wide range of friends because of prom and dance. I get to learn or um, get to know people from like other schools and different classes and stuff. So. Dance is really important to me. I've been dancing since I was three years old. And just last year I was asked to be in performance, which is a really uh, big honor because that's the highest you can go at Tony's. So these are pictures just from last year's you saw you Um, I really like palm because it's kind of another form of dance except sharper and stuff. And it allows me to get to know a lot of people that I probably wouldn't have met otherwise. And the picture in the middle is from High Pick last year. We got 11th out of 12 who didn't do very good last year. But this year we came and we stepped it up. And we did a lot better this year. These pictures are all from High Kick. We usually go a little scary. <laughs> and um, this year we got, I believe it was 6 out of like 12 or something. So we did a lot better this year. In the States, we got six out of 12. This is my lifeline. Um, like I said before, a really good time in my life is when I made the varsity palm team because my sisters were both on it, Ashley for three years and Sam for four. So I kind of felt like it was like a tradition in my family to be on it. So it was really good that I made it. And I couldn't find an up-to-date dance picture that I already hadn't used, but I got asked to be a performance, which is the highest you can go. Down point in my life is when I was like two, my dad was fixing up our house and remodeling it, and so there was stuff all over. And I found a screw and put it in my mouth and started choking on it. And my sisters came in and thought I was just coughing, so they just kind of let it go. And then when I started to turn blue, they took me into my mom and grandma who were in the other room talking. And my grandma did the Heimlich and got it out, so that was good. I'm you still have a screw? That. No. <laughs> um, another good time in my life mm. is both of my grandpas have had some sickness lately. My grandpa Turnwald had a stroke in 2005, just like a week or so before Christmas, so that was really hard. But the doctors told him he would probably never be able to walk very good again, and he'd most likely have to live in a wheelchair, and he wouldn't be able to talk very much, but he can talk most of the time. He has, sometimes he has trouble, but he just spells it out to us, or, and he can walk pretty good most days. And then my other grandpa, Grandpa Raymond, went into the hospital one time for something else because he wasn't feeling good, and they found out he had prostate cancer. But they went in and did a surgery and removed it, and so far, there's nothing, so. Cool. And that's me. Nicely done, Britt.